Hey, thank you for moderating both panels this afternoon, Shelby. You did a really great job. Um, so I had the pleasure of opening and I'm also going to help uh, close this event out. So I hope everyone had a really great time today. Um, I want to get some quick feedback from people on like what you thought of the day. Um, so if you click on the uh, participant list, you will see a like bunch of buttons to say yes, no, uh, raise your hands. Um, so I want you to uh, say yes if you are like a new person to open telemetry. Are you new to open telemetry? Uh, put the yes or no button uh, so we can see how many newbies that we had uh, that got to participate for the first time in the open telemetry community. Put your yes or no's up. Wow. That's a lot of new people to the open telemetry community. I guess you heard of us through the uh, KubeCon event and picked this as your uh, focus. We've got 15, 14, 15 people who are, who are brand new. Cool. Um, so I hope you learned something today. Uh, raise your hand and say yes if you, uh, if you learned something today and uh, have a deeper understanding of how to get started with OTEL, like what you want to do with OTEL, um, or a better understanding of the technical components. That is almost everyone. Yes, that makes me feel super good. Uh, every time that we have a learning event like this, it's a really great opportunity for people to learn from fellow practitioners. So I hope that you all got your $30 worth. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. So Ted, what are the things that we should uh, wrap up with? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just really been an incredible journey from start to finish with this project. And uh, it's just great to see us closing the year out with our first community day conference and just having people be able to actually interact live, still on a Zoom meeting. Uh, but uh, this is like, just really been great to have a lot of participation beyond. Yeah, just it's been so interactive, which is like so different than every single other virtual event I've done this year. Yeah. Uh, I did want to mention we we do have a quote unquote happy hour following this, which is just uh, more opportunities to zoom and ask questions uh, and hang out with each other. Um, so I would say like let's please uh, continue this on. Uh, please come back for that happy hour, and uh, we'll just use that as an impromptu uh, uh, session, much like the breakout sessions before, uh, to keep the conversation going. And though we've said it a bajillion times on this call, I do want to emphasize, please come join the community. Um, open, if you go to our organization on GitHub, there is a repo called community. And um, that contains within it the project structure, but it also contains link to the calendar to find when our meetings are. Um, and we do hang out a lot in Gitter. So that's another great place. Uh, uh, to ask questions, but really we're quite active on GitHub, Gitter, and uh, our meetings are open to newcomers. So don't don't feel like just because you're new, you can't show up to the meeting. So I really want to stress that, uh, especially as we're heading towards um, release candidates, uh, but we're not quite there yet. This is really the time we want people dog fooding this stuff and uh, really giving us feedback. So also a uh, big ask is go ahead and try it. Even if the documentation is non-existent or not perfect, um, uh, giving us feedback even on what would be most helpful there uh, is helpful feedback. Uh, so please leave issues on all of this. And that's what I got. Great. Once again, I do want to uh, make sure to thank our sponsors. So I'm going to go ahead and put their logos up again because it is super important. Uh, this would not be financially possible uh, without our sponsors. I hope everyone can see this. Um, so. Thank you very much to New Relic, Lightstep, and Splunk for sponsoring this. Um, make sure you stop by their boots. Um, it will be hash six dash, uh, dash cube on dash sponsor name. Uh, so if you saw anything from any of the sponsors that really intrigued you, um, you know, please do connect with our sponsors because that is what ultimately funds the salaries of the number of people who develop OTEL uh, as well as paying for this event. Uh, also, I have pasted into the Slack channel um, there is a set of talks that I think are super, super interesting that are relevant to our community uh, in the rest of KubePod. Particularly, I want to highlight that uh, Constance, who is on the Open Telemetry Governance Committee, is giving a presentation about the Open Telemetry Collector and how it can help you manage your telemetry flows. Uh, and that'll be on the KubeCon keynote stage at 1 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday. So make sure you turn up to that. And from all of us at Open Telemetry, um, it was a pleasure hosting this event, and we hope we'll see you around the community. So please come join us, give us feedback, use our product, and let us know how it goes. 
Yes, thank you everyone. Um, sorry for being a little late to these, but also I wanted to make sure, a special mention, thank you to the uh, program committee and the uh, uh, co-organizers. So Ted, Liz, uh, Killian Fitzpatrick, who I don't think is on the call, but she also uh, helped. Special thank you to the maintainers, to Bogdan for organizing the maintainers panel. Thank you, Shelby, for agreeing to moderate our panels. Uh, thank you to our lightning talk speakers. You all did a great job. Thank you to our moderators, if you're still on, for moderating the uh, breakout sessions. And thank you to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation for tolerating me and uh, being a great partner. So I hope everyone had fun. So stay on the Zoom if you want to participate in happy hour. This is just going to be an open Zoom. The uh, community standards of conduct do still apply. Like, please do not get sloshed and like say inappropriate things. But like, you know, please feel free to hang out with fellow attendees. Um, and otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow at the rest of QCon.